obviously, as I mentioned, you started with VFX stuff, but you've always kind of been dabbling in games and uh, we'll get to obviously your YouTube and all the other things that you do. But sure. the biggest part of your life right now, which is really exciting, is that you're involved in games developing. You're a games developer. So when did you actually start kind of dabbling with this? Because I, I obviously met you... I want to say the tail end of last year. I can't remember the exact time, but roughly around that point. And I yeah, think yeah, back, th back then, yeah, you, you had an interest in it, but I, I never heard of you like actively doing it at that point. Mm -hmm. um, and then I later realized like you have a real talent for it. So it's like, clearly there's got to be some sort of thing where you've done this years before or you've got a talent or you've studied or something like that. When, when did this start? Um... So I think I started in around March this year. Oh, okay. And um, yeah, it's I've been doing that about seven months now. And okay. um, no background, no study, uh, no nothing. I um, am incredibly fortunate to be kind of involved with people that have been doing it for years. Um, obviously, um, you know Vidas. Yes. And obviously, uh, there's Matt Reeves. Um, both have both been very, very good with me and giving me their time and knowledge and passing on, uh, you know, uh, things, skill sets that I could learn. And so, obviously, I started off with Unity, uh, which is very sort of C sharp based, like coding. And um, that's probably the only background kind of thing I had in it. Like, I knew a little bit of code to sort of kind of get me through. And um, I was able to produce my first game, uh, which is the construct, which is like a short, um, old text school, text-based, text-based horror sci-fi adventure sort of thing, which did all right, you know. Um, and then I kind of moved over to Unreal Engine because they use a thing called Blueprint, which is where you don't have to have any coding knowledge. Um, you literally just connect the dots to what you want it to do. Like so, for example. Um, there's a button on a menu you on clicked, drag it over to open level and it opens that level. It's, just, it's that simple. Um, so it's just about making sure that all your references match up and you want them to do something and they work. Um, the, the, t the other kind of side of that logic is the things that are more difficult. So like Blender, which is the 3D modeling tool that I use, it's free. Um, a lot of people in the industry use it, um, but that's where I make all my models for my games. Or, you know, you can buy assets, download assets and stuff that people have already made as long as they're free to use. Um, you can just literally plonk them into your scene and do, and then you've got the animation side of thing, which is obviously the hard bit because you literally have to create a skeleton for that model. And then you have to pose it and model it and keyframe it. So think of it like stop motion animation mm. where you would move it a frame and then you like keyframe it, move it again, keyframe it until you get that kind of nice fluid moving motion type thing. So there's that side of it as well. Um, so it's incredibly complex um, stuff, but as I said, thankfully to these guys um they give me uh a ton of the time you know if i ever have any questions i feel like lately i've been a lot more solo on these things like i don't really ask as much anymore um but i obviously recently had the uh pleasure of joining vidas's studio uh vidas games and i'm now working with them as well as doing a couple of solo projects 